not necessarily talking about this particular project, but out of all the projects you do, what do you find is the most challenging part of that? I mean, is it to do with product? Is it to do with planning? Um, there is an element of planning that does, does become a bit of an issue. Um, subject to what area you live, you do have to apply for planning permissions. Mm -hmm. Um, that can be quite a long gruelling process because it is always with local authorities. Um, it's a 12 week process and there's no guarantee that you'll get approval at the end of it. Mm. That's generally the hardest part of any project that has to go down the planning route versus the majority of projects which are permit development. Yeah, you say 12 weeks. With everything that's happened over the last few years, have you found that's a longer period? time now for any if there is a planning application needed for it to come through so subject to the individual local authority it's their advice is 12 weeks uh, yeah. for that uh, to be reviewed that unfortunately over the last couple of years has been extended mm -hmm. it's gone as far as 19 weeks at, at one point just because of demand for for the service yeah. um, which the knock-on results of that where a company like ourselves is doing one project at a time, we have an order book full and all jobs programmed in, it can then throw a knock-on effect back on where that job then falls yeah. into that diary. So it can cause a bit of difficulties yeah. if things like that don't, don't line up with how we plan things in. Yeah. And if a project has to go to planning, and let's say for argument's sake they refuse <coughs> for whatever reason yeah. they deem fit, um, do you have sort of like a fallback plan where you can redesign, have it redesigned so it doesn't have to go through planning? So the subject is why it's going in for mm. planning. If, if you are building on the original footprint of the house, then 99% of the cases it falls under permit development and right. it's fine. However, this house for example, there is an extension at the back of the house. If we chose to build the loft conversion onto that extension, we would have to apply for planning permission. Right. So if we went down the route of planning permission to gain that extra space, and it is an additional four metres of floor space within the loft, which is a, a really good amount of space, there's no guarantee that we'd get the planning approval for it, but should that fail and we got a rejection for it, we could fall back to the original footprint of the house yeah. and build to that. So you don't lose out, but it's, it's a, a, a risk a customer takes yeah. with putting that application in. Cool. Um, and I believe you've got the windows ready in I the have van. Indeed. I have Should indeed. Should go and have a look? Yeah. Northern Building Plastics. Why collect when we can deliver?